you do and who trusted you in our position. There have been many stories that have been very, very difficult to happen. She was uh, shooting a documentary in St. Louis, Missouri, um, and as she was heading back to Denver, uh, she was apprehended in the airport there. Um, there weren't any uh, charges that were mentioned at that time or after that. Um, so apparently she is clear of charges, but uh, she is currently in prison. She has an inmate number. She is behind bars. Um, so we, we are curious about uh, why that is and how that works. We have no idea. Uh, everyone we ask uh, is very vague and the information is still limited. Um, but, you know, she is a very high profile um, journalist. Um, uh, and I, I mean, I think it's important to note that she is um, an American citizen. She's uh, a Muslim American citizen. She's an African American. Um, and she has certain uh, particular kinds of views um, that make it difficult for us not to think in conspiratorial sorts of ways. Um, but at the moment, you know, the facts are very unclear, so we really don't know um, why, why this would be. We do know that she was uh, shooting a Black Lives Matter documentary in St. Louis. Um, whether or not it's related to that, we don't know. Whether or not it's related to previous journalistic activities, um, we don't know. There's assumptions like that all over the place right now, but um, there's no one that's forthcoming with that kind of information. She has been uh, harassed on a regular basis when she goes to airports. Um, this is something that's been going on for roughly a decade. Uh, whenever she boards a plane, um, prior to it, she will have um, interviews or interrogations, if we might call it that. Um, things that are not very typical um, is what she's um, had to deal with for some time. Uh, so the fact that you know you have uh, you know a, a certain encounters with uh, officials, whether it's a TSA or, or whatnot, um, that is not new for her. Um, what is new is, is the arrest.